What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are back with the Corvette from Sam Crack and the Cadillac Alante. And we're going to take turns driving them. And we're going to find out if both of them can make it 1,500 miles. <laughs> yeah. We're not the smartest people in the, in the world right here. No, I mean, a car from Sam Crack is pretty much guaranteed <laughs> to, to be problematic at the least. Honestly, though, I think I would take the flood car over the Sam Crack car. Really? Okay. Yeah, I, I, it's just, you know. It's been Sam Cracked. Yeah, this one has been Sam Cracked. This one was just under, <laughs> under Hurricane Ian. And this is not so bad. That's all. Not so bad. <laughs> So we've got ahead of us what 1500 miles? 17? 15 I'll 17. Have to look. Yeah. We're on the very southernmost tip of Florida. Close. We're right. We're on the very southern part of Florida. And we got to get back to Oklahoma. So, take your bets right now which one you think is going to make it or do you think they're both going to make it? We have no tools? No. We have no fluids? No. We got no. We have nothing nothing we have a car with 280,000 miles yep that kind of runs and drives or we have a low mileage car <laughs> that sat under flood water for who knows how long yeah what could possibly go wrong <laughs> a lot <laughs> well it's time to find out let's get this journey started and let's see how far we can make it before uh, we end the day all right well we've taken turns yeah I'm done in the Elante. You are. You're done with a lot of things. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <clears throat> and it's your turn in the Elante. That's why I'm all got all this yeah. going on. Yeah. You've been in it for a little over an hour now. That's only an hour. Yes. That was only an hour. <laughs> yes. Oh wow. It's different when you're freezing. <laughs> oh, it's much different when you're freezing. So yeah, we got the shirt on like a scarf. I can barely hear you. Well. <laughs> you look good, Mike. You look good. It's it's a thing. The Corvette is, I mean, so far doing absolutely great. I guess it's not really any surprise there. The Elante, I've had no issue out of it. How about you? Other than no heat. <laughs> oh, yeah. <clears throat> and no windows. Yeah. It's been great. No heat, no windows. And it's averaging, what's the fuel economy in this thing? 20, I want to say 24, 25 maybe. 24, 25 miles a gallon yeah. out of this. That's kind of insane. We are about to hit our last stretch for the night. Uh, we're going to stop in Tallahassee. Uh huh. And it's about two hours and 20 <sighs> minutes away. Okay, great. Yeah. I'll keep the speed down a little bit. When I was driving, he was going 80. I had no idea. You have a speedometer, Mike. <laughs> I know, but I didn't know there was a big difference in what you say, 65 and 80 because of the 80 wind. 80 is unbearable. The wind the is wind. going. <laughs> Yeah. I, I wonder if it'd be better with the top completely off. Really? Because of all the, the wind getting caught up. Like, with the top off, I feel like it might just go over. Go over? I don't know. <sighs> yeah, we got us a nice hotel waiting for us two hours away. We can be in a nice, warm place. Yeah. Get some sleep, get a shower, and start another trip tomorrow, which should be 14 hours the rest of the way home let me get my socks on so That's my hands a, stay warm if a cop rolls by you you are getting pulled over <laughs> and the car doesn't have park what I'm, oh so we just <clears throat> kind of roll it onto the nearest hill yeah and yeah it's been working great hopefully when we come out tomorrow in tallahassee the car is still there that's the big thing take everything valuable out of it <clears throat> when we get there I, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's okay. only one thing left to do. Let's get back on the road. We got two and a, two hours and twenty minutes left. Let's do it. Let's and that's, go. That'll be almost. That should be right at five hundred miles, which is about a third of the trip. Really? Yeah. Okay. Good. We girl. only have to do two thirds tomorrow. Good girl. Yeah. Oh, uh, we made it. Barely. It's midnight. We're tired. This is a nice little hill. Mike can park right up against it, hopefully. 
I, did you set the e-brake? No, not yet. I I'm doubt. still working on park. Yeah, I don't think it's going to go in the park. <laughs> so how was that drive in 30 degree weather? <laughs> that was brisk is a good word. No, that's a terrible word. <laughs> At least you're Freaking dressed appropriately. Cold is what it is. <laughs> I can't feel from here to here. This much of my feet are frozen. I got socks for gloves. <laughs> And I got a dress shirt for a scarf. Well, if you want, we can get back on the road. And no, that's good. Try a few more hours. That's okay. I can't. <laughs> it's all tingly down there. So. Yeah, this is a this is a rough one. <sighs> I'm gonna pull the Corvette right here, and hopefully, everything will still be here tomorrow. With that, guys, our hotel is right there. We're gonna go get some shut eye, get a shower in the morning, and we'll get back on the road. <sighs> And we're back. It's a brand new day. It's a new day. How you feeling? I'm feeling good. How are you feeling? I'm all right. He <laughs> says with a grin. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting there. Good news. The Cadillac didn't roll into the fence. No. So that's nice. Hopefully we'll get her away from the fence. Yeah. We have an issue. We set the e-brake because it was late. We were tired and you were yeah. frozen. Yeah. Um, and there was just no other choice. But now we have to hope that the e-brake turns off. So I have to hold it with my foot, and well, you got to yeah. work this little spring <laughs> thing without losing a finger. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be fun. Yeah. And then we notice this on the Corvette. I'm hoping maybe I just ran over something, some oily substance. What do you think the chances of that are? I hope more than <laughs> oil coming out of, like, because these are still dry. Yeah. That's See, still dry. I don't know. I. That looks like some oily residue. Yeah. So I guess we should probably pop the hood, which I can't remember how to do it on this car. Oh, here. You gotta reach under the, <clears throat> Sam showed us how to do it. You gotta feel for a cable. <laughs> and I can't get under there because the car's so low now. Wait, I, I see mine, but yeah, I don't, I'm not sure I can get to mine either. I, I can't reach it. Hold on, I Mike just dropped the F-bomb. Yeah. And then the first thing he says is, you're not recording, are you? <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Go ahead and check the dipstick, Mike. Let's see what it looks like. You don't even need to wipe it off. It's been sitting all night. Survey says... she full? She looks low to me. It is just a... above that second hole, that, like this one. Right, maybe? Yeah. It's in the safe zone. That's okay. that's safe. All right. And we've already, the Corvette, we've put, I guess we didn't tell them this, did we? We put an extra like 750 miles on the Corvette than we did that car. Yeah. Because we came down first and got this from Sam Crack, and then I got deathly freaking sick. But to get from, God, we went from we're like Orlando, Tampa, From Tampa. Uh, South Beach. We were yeah. we were north and south Florida constantly. And I mean, these are like four hour drives all over the place. And because of that, we did rack up a ton of miles on this car. So she's got a little bit more mileage on her than the Cadillac over there. Let's come over here and take a look at the Caddy and see how, see how she got it. Just boy, it pops. This car looks good, Mike. She's a pretty girl. Oh, oh you... <laughs> Don't start this. Don't start this. Hold on. Hold on. Come on. <laughs> Doggone it. <laughs> That's only happened one other time. You know, she's... Can I open it now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can open it. <laughs> okay. You think she'll start up? I hope or so. Or we... Let's pop. Let's check the oil first. Yeah. Yeah, let's check the oil. See how things are looking. Oh, look, a bird took a nice crap right on the freshly ah. cleaned hood. All right. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, that's, that's nice. Nice, clean, full. And I'll bet the trans fluid, I know we can't properly check it because the car is not running. I just want to see if it's frothy or if it looks yeah. weird or Oh. Oh no. That's kind of frothy. That's 
Oh no. Well, <laughs> when did survey says when did that happen? We ran what thirty quarts? Yeah, of fluid through this. Yeah, two giant buckets full. Yeah, two five-gallon buckets full. There's no way. And it was fine the next when we checked it last time. Oh man, come on! We still we've made it 500 miles. We got 950 to go. <laughs> it's not the radiator. Everything under there still looks good. <laughs> oh boy. This is getting more and more interesting, isn't it? Yay. More drama. <sighs> There's not much we can do at this point. I got a zip tie. We can fix something. That'll that'll help. <laughs> <laughs> when we need to replace the transmission, we'll use that zip tie. Exactly. I don't know, man. Uh that's bad. That's that's really bad. I don't know. I, I guess all we can do is get back on the road. You want to put the top down and see if it's better? Can we do it? Yeah, we can. I mean, if it's and not better, it's we can not, put the top we'll back, put up. back up. Yeah, but, but I, I really think the wind catching in there and then bouncing yeah. all around is probably making it worse. We can try, and then everybody can see how nice she looks yeah, with the top Yeah, let's down. drop the top. And we'll show everybody how nice she is with the top down. What do you think, Mike? I think she looks better with the top off. Don't they all? Well, no, they don't. <laughs> Set and swing. Yeah. She looks pretty good, man. <clears throat> yeah. She looks pretty good. That was a bit of a fight to figure out how to do it. You found the knobs. Yeah. We, we got it done. <laughs> okay. We got to stop with all the references. Okay. <laughs> we. It's all you, it's man. It's you. <laughs> it's all you. He's been hanging out with me too much. Oh, we can't forget this key. No, we can't. You might want to put that in your pocket. Okay. that's what shuts the alarm off there's a there's a little light on it too oh look at that it's got a little light bulb on it there yeah she's running well yes i'm a little nervous with the pink fluid yes yeah 950 miles a long way to go we're going to try to make it back in one swoop today it's gonna be a long uh, a long swoop plus we got to get the e-brake off you're more optimistic than me but yeah we'll try we'll try I'm going to fight with the e-brake and see if we can get this thing back on the road. And we're going to go to Cracker Barrel, get some breakfast. That's then it. I guess we'll get back on the road. So, there's been a development. Breaking <laughs> news to report this morning. We were making a thumbnail. We were. I did a nice little burnout. <laughs> Not on video, but I did a nice little burnout. And uh, we noticed when I backed up the Corvette... That on top, member I said on that bumper, I said that looks like oil. Yeah. Well, da, 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 that's a lot for. We have oil. That is oil. Damn thing doesn't want to focus. But anyway, that's that's obviously oil. Um, and that's only for sitting here. How long that sit here for? A minute. Five minute. A minute. Two minutes. Enough for some pictures. Yeah. Just we took a couple pictures and it left that nice little puddle so obviously she's leaking <laughs> transmission issues engine oil issues yay yeah this is this is really really great this just got serious yeah so anyway <laughs> we're still gonna go get breakfast but now we're gonna go buy oil probably three or four quarts and we'll keep it on us. Yeah. And we'll make sure to keep topping that thing up. I can't wait to get it on the lift and find out what the hell is leaking and where it's leaking from. Because that, that's quite a bit of oil for just sitting there. And I noticed when I looked under it, drip, drip, drip. Like it's yeah. it's actively leaking. So let's go get some food. Let's do that. Let's and then, eat and then we'll worry. Yeah, we'll worry later. Or we won't worry at all. We'll just drive until they quit driving. Okay. Yeah, that's my that's my idea. <laughs> all right. What in God's name is that? I'm getting ready for the drive home. You want to see? Oh, Lord. 
Look at that. Randy bought it for me. <laughs> I did. This is special. Oh my goodness. Isn't this great? Oh wait. That's... And this. Here we go. You look perfect for this car, <laughs> man. I mean, you look like the kind of white guy I'd see? expect to see driving a red Cadillac with the top down Trying in the wrong up, type of weather. Picking up all the old ladies. All the 70 year olds <laughs> to go ballroom <laughs> dancing. Got some white gloves. Ooh, boy. <laughs> He's going to be taking those chicks to the bridge festival. That's right, baby. Come on. Oh, my. Okay. I got my blue pill. I got $20 in my pocket. I'm ready to party. <laughs> my $20 doesn't get you near what it used to, man. Yeah, that's true. Uh, he's been out of the game for a while. All right. Here's what we here's what we done did. The vet here, since she's decided to piss oil out of her, we decided... The best thing you could do for a high mileage American car that's puking oil is yeah. what? Put in a $15 bottle of Fix All. This is what Sam Crack would have done. Yeah. In fact, he tried to give me a free bottle of Block Seal with it. Maybe he knew something we did not. Oh, I think Sam knew a lot of things. <laughs> I, I said it from the beginning. I think this dude took me for a ride on this car. I do. I think he took me for a ride. Anyway. I mean, the engine looks good. Yeah. The outside looks good, yeah. Yeah, the, <laughs> that's because he ceramic coated the outside, Mike. <laughs> the outside got ceramic coated. Okay, we're going to dump in. Look, and we did the right thing by her, too. We got some... Let's see, where's this oil? There it is. I looked it up online, and it said this is the kind of oil it wants, 10W30. And it said specifically mobile one because that's really important Mo <laughs> mobile one 530 oh you misread the thing no it said 1030 online oh online it did it said 1030 uh... so somebody it doesn't matter i don't care you know what 1030 is going to do it's thicker which means it's just going to help it leak less yeah it's going to stop the leak right the engine will be fine and it won't clog anything surely mm -hmm. yeah and if that doesn't fix it well this is exactly what Sam Crack would have done. He wouldn't have fixed it himself, and he wouldn't have paid to fix it. Why is this not focusing? Ah, that lady's laughing at she you. She's laughing at me, yeah. I think we fixed the focus. There we go. There it is. This is $15 Blue Devil Pour and Go Rear Main Sealer. I swear by the Blue Devil Pour and Go Head Gasket Sealer. Hmm. I've used it for a long time, and it works with a money back guarantee. So I figure if they make something for the oil leak, and I don't know that it's the rear main seal to be quite honest with you. Could be the front main, could be the rear main. What I, what I found though, is when it's running, it's actively dripping, which means it's a pressurized leak. It sounds to me like it's a main seal. Okay. So let's, uh, let's get a funnel and let's get a rag. Okay. And let's top this thing up and then immediately take it for a drive. And it says the leak should stop within two hours and we're gonna drive it much further than that so when we get to our next destination we'll park we'll let the car run and then we'll back up and we'll see if the leak has subsided or not we'll know pretty quickly hey Mike why are you looking so blue I'm a little nervous right now what happened well according to you I bomb I smoke bomb the whole interstate yeah you did I like it was real bad and I didn't even realize it I didn't see it. I didn't. Too bad I didn't have the camera going. Shoot. Yeah, yeah, you fogged up the whole interstate, man. It was, it was bad. So, now, we pulled over at the gas station to get gas and to assess the situation. And what did we find? Well, we found some drippage. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take you guys underneath. And, uh, oh, I knew something popped. I knew it. There it is. And it's coming from somewhere right there. Yeah. And I noticed as soon as we pulled in, now the back of your car looks worse than the back of my Corvette. Yeah. You've got oil just, especially over from here over. 
It's bad. It's real bad. It is just, it's kind of gnarly. But it, it's, I mean, it's not from there. No, it's from the so oil pouring the... out of the transmission. Yeah. <laughs> so what did you do? I drove the car. No, no, no. What did you do? I drove it. I was trying to keep up with you. <laughs> you were in front of me. I was in front of you. And I was trying to keep up with you, and I noticed I hit 100 miles an hour behind you. <laughs> He's <laughs> driving so good. <laughs> so good! And now it's blown up. And now she kaputted. Yeah. Well, well Mike, you owe me $2,200. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> great. Um, here's what we found, guys. It's pretty interesting. It's 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 built up so much pressure in the transmission that it's blown it. <laughs> it blew it out of the. Di it's blowing chunks out of the dipstick tube. Like you were blowing chunks the other day. Yes. Yes. You can see the dipstick tube right there is covered. And if you look down, uh, you guys probably can't see, but everything down there is soaking wet with transmission fluid. So. <sighs> yeah. I'm not. I'm not sure can how. See that now, yeah. Can they see it? See on this. It's so hard to. Yeah. To get down there. All of it, this is wet. All of that. Yeah, it's all soaking wet. So it's kind of spewing out of there like a pressure cooker, man, and just spewing down, which goes straight to the exhaust manifolds. Yeah. And uh, yeah. So. We're gonna have to fire this bad boy up and check the trans fluid because I just got a hunch that it's probably pretty low about now. But it was shifting fine. <laughs> well, you know what? Let's just pretend it didn't happen. Yeah. And uh, oh I'm sure gosh. it'll be okay. Well, there's a Walmart right there if we need more transmission fluid. <laughs> we did bring some transmission fluid with us. Yeah. And when we're done trying to figure out if we can fix what you broke, <laughs> Well, <laughs> we can go over there and see if our stop leak has done any good. Yeah. Um, we'll let the Corvette idle there for a couple minutes and back it up and see if there's anything under it. Uh, he got cocky. Got cocky. He did. He got arrogant. <laughs> no, I, th I think it'll be okay. I do. What is that? Salt? Salt. Salt. <laughs> Look is at that? it. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. Big old chunk. Okay, let's get this trans issue figured out, and then uh, we'll get back on the road. Let's do it. Let's hit 110. You go ahead. <laughs> I'll be behind you, waiting for you to be broken down on the side <laughs> of the interstate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get back to focusing on the vet here. Come on. Are you kidding me? This is something new that it's been doing, the, the key fob doesn't work. There we go. Come on. Oh, my goodness. Let's let it run. I'm going to let it sit here and idle for just a couple minutes. You guys can see it's 504. I'm not going to make you sit with me. Oh, look, the check engine light's on. That's nice. Trunk is ajar. That's nice. Tire monitor. That's nice. But we are averaging 24.8 miles a gallon, and we were doing triple digits. That's not too awful bad. Okay, let's let it idle for a couple of minutes, and then we'll back it up and see how bad that leak is, or maybe it's cleared up completely. All right, 506. Let's back her up. Hopefully nobody's behind me. And let's take a quick peek because she was leaking. She was leaking pretty damn good, guys. <clears throat> what did I just drop? Nah. Hey, Mike. My car's not leaking. That's not fresh. <laughs> no. Mine was come. Mine comes from like the middle. Yeah. 
No. Okay. I don't see anything. We'll have to try it again later. Congratulations, though. Yeah, your car, however, is... Yeah, she's pissing There's a... That looks bad, Mike. So what do we decide to do? Worse. We're just going to say... Screw it. F it and go. Yeah, let's just go. Who cares? Thanks for the Coke. Yeah, Coca-Cola Classic. F around and find out. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, the more you want to find out, the more you got to F around. <laughs> We're about to really F around and find out. All right, it's another day. Another day, another eight, nine, ten hours of driving? Yeah. We had a little incident last night that I sure wish I'd gotten on camera, but... I was too busy screaming at a cop. You got involved with the popo. I did. <laughs> uh, this is what? Mississippi, Jackson, Mississippi, mm -hmm. and uh, they had, they had blocked the road, and they they were doing their little flashlight like this, which I thought meant continue on slowly. So I did very slowly. Yeah. Made it through the intersection. I hear this cop scream at me, "Stop!" So I roll down my window and I'm like, what? He's like, back up! And I yelled out the window, what? <laughs> well, he didn't like that very much. Apparently he took that as a sign of disrespect. And being that he is an alpha male with a badge, you know, disrespecting him was something that just wasn't gonna fly. Well, anyway, we had a battle of egos for... It was fun to watch, yeah. My guy that stopped me behind you was nice. He said, yeah, this guy's probably gonna get in trouble. He didn't stop. And he said, now watch, he's gonna back into you and then blame it on you. He said that? He said that, yeah. The cop said that? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. nice. He did, Well, he didn't know that we were- Together? Friends. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 well, <laughs> friends. Yeah, and then he saw your license plate and then he went back and looked at mine. Oh. And then he was, he was nice, but yours, your guy. Mine was, was not. He was not. Mine had a bad attitude. <laughs> he was big. He was a big guy. He had a <laughs> nasty attitude, and I had a nasty attitude with him. I was not nice to him in the slightest. He asked for license, registrations, and insurance, mm -hmm. and I told him there is none. And I thought that for sure was going to get out of the car, right? You know, I thought <clears> it was going to create some drama. Yeah. And it didn't. He's like, why not? I said, because it belongs to my dealership. I'm the owner. There's no insurance or registration on a dealer car. And he handed me my driver's <laughs> license back and he said, have a good night. He said, next time you're having a bad day, don't take it out on me. Yeah. I wasn't the one that started this mess, man. Yeah. I was just minding my business, going about my way. You were screaming and yelling just nasty to me. I'm sorry. I don't put up with stuff like that from anybody. I don't care if you got a badge or not. Then you realize you had one Yeah. Then I <laughs> headlight. Then yeah. I realized he had a reason to pull me over anyway. I thought my guy was going to get mad at me because I looked like, I mean, I, I literally had this, like, like this. And so he was pulling me over like this. Yeah, you look legit, man. How are you doing? Yeah. What time? 11 o'clock at night in a convertible. Like Freezing this. cold with the top down. He didn't say anything about it. He <laughs> didn't say anything about no top, no windows, a stupid hat. Yeah, so... Well, last night was an interesting night. So <sighs> today, we're gonna real quick just check the oil. It's been sitting overnight, so pulling the dipstick yeah. should give us a clear idea. I know it was full yesterday. If it's not full today, then it leaked while we were driving. Here's the thing. Uh, it's full. Oh, you don't wanna rag? Nope, okay. I can see it clearly. She is full. So it worked. It had to have worked. The only real t test left, come on now, why do these things not like to go back in sometimes? There we go. The only real test now is to sit here and let it idle for a couple minutes, like we did at the hotel yesterday. Uh huh. And uh, see if it spews oil all over the ground. So far, though, what do we got left? 650 miles? Eight hours to buyers. Eight hours. Yeah. Is that thing going to make it another eight hours? I don't know. Is this going to make it another eight hours without rain? Wouldn't that be a fun little twist? No, you're getting rained on. <sighs> Yay! It's another fun <laughs> chapter in this I hope you film it. novel <laughs> of a road trip. <laughs> we can do more like these if you want. More what? More, more like of these? these? Yeah, more of these. 
windows. I just want windows. All I need are two windows. The lack uh, of heat is okay. I just want to go it's home. Just the windows. I just want to get home. Yeah. Okay. Let's run this for a little bit and see if she's pissing oil or if the stop leak for 20 bucks actually worked. When do you want to check the transmission fluid in this one? Before the gas station? Because it was yeah, making let's a check, weird let's sound. Yeah, let's check it. Oh, that's right. See, last night it was making a let's sound. Let's pop the hood and check it now. Okay. Now, technically, you got to check the trans fluid when it's hot. Yeah. But I guess we can at least get a... Well, there's a cold and a hot on Mercedes, but I don't know about these. That noise is gone. That noise it was making is gone. Well, we're going downhill now, so the... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't yeah, know. It, was, it almost sounded like the transmission pump was starting to make a little bit of noise, which honestly wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. But we'll see where she's at. Who knows? Maybe it's still full. Maybe it stopped leaking. Turn it. Other way. Keep going. Yep, yeah, she's full. That's full. And I cleaned all of this and there's not fluid all over it again. So, so it hasn't been leaking. What you're saying is triple digit speeds are not good for yeah, the transmission. 100 plus miles an hour with water in the trans. It doesn't like that, apparently. I don't, I don't know. I don't know why. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're just going to have to keep it to, you know, normal everyday speeds. There she is. I, I'm, I, I had no faith in this car. None. Like, zero faith in this car. Yeah. And I'm start, and it scares me that I'm starting to believe in it now. It's made over half the journey. And it's done it with great fuel economy. Yeah. No issues that required us, like, getting off the road and uh, other, than, other than that one thing, puking trans fluid. Yeah, but that was... <laughs> That was, you know, somebody's fault. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not. Say, I'm not pointing the finger, but it's. Well, it yeah. Was somebody's I appreciate fault. that. I don't. <laughs> I don't want to point the finger either. It could have been either one of us. You know what I mean? Either way, she's purring like a kitten. Yeah. My favorite thing. Oh yeah, that caddy trunk clothes. Ooh. Yeah. Fancy. Boy, she is a nice looking little car. All right, this thing's been running here for a few minutes. Why don't I put it in reverse real quick? 300,000 miles. It's got to be leaking something somewhere. You give know me a I mean? leak. Bum, 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 well, bum. no. Don't give me a leak. <laughs> and the verdict is... It's on the other side. Uh, that's, a, that's new because the other one should be over here, right? Yeah. It's oil again. Let me From look under it. Is it? I'm confused. I don't see anything. No. Well. I wish I could see something. It's not a whole lot. It's not. Maybe that was there before. Yeah, sure. A puddle of oil might have been there before. Could have. Either way, guess what? We don't care. We're going to no. hit the road and continue our journey. Yeah. Before it rains. Yeah. This is great. It's pouring rain, but the top is down. Yep. Oh, it is pouring. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> oh my god. That's <laughs> 
sucked. Wow. Um, <laughs> I'm soaked. The car is soaked. Monkey wrench Mike is over there. He's got to be pissed. He's got. He's he. <laughs> Let's go see how Monkey Wrench Mike is doing. <laughs> this is the best trip ever. <laughs> are we? This is the are, best. Are we having fun? We're having something. <laughs> We're having something. Look, yep. Look at it. <laughs> Dude, that dropped out of nowhere. Well, and then I pulled over, and I saw. I thought, no, he's just gonna push a button. And everything closes. Yeah, I got to get out and fight traffic and do a. I thought you were going to continue on, and I would meet you. <laughs> you stopped so, for me, so you're yeah, you're worse. A, huh? We're good. Well, the windows don't go up and down, so it's going <laughs> to be a fun trip. But yeah. All right, we got the uh, we got the top up. Yeah, both tops. Yeah, it's windy. It's very rainy. Yeah. And the windows still don't work. This audio is going to sound like crap. I didn't put my mics on or anything, so. It's live. What do you expect? Uh, okay. We could sit here until the rain stops. Have we checked the radar? Yeah. We may need to move a little further out or something. Yeah, that Exxon has a whole bunch of cover. Yeah. Um. Well, we'll figure it out, guys. We'll see where we are. We'll get back with you here in a little bit. Hey, Mike. Yes, sir. What are you doing over there? Booking a flight home. <laughs> Booking a flight. We're, we're, we're somewhere in Texas. We're not too far from Oklahoma. No. And the Elante, uh -huh. the transmission is given out. The Corvette, however, the Corvette's doing fine. She's cruising like it's nothing. We are, we're literally in the middle of nowhere. There's nothing here. Um, I messaged Sam Crack. And I told him... The Elante, what? What did you that's see? That's City Hall right there. <laughs> that's City Hall. That building is Douglasville. City Hall. There's where we're at. Yeah, that's Douglasville. City Hall. Okay. Well, now you know where we're at. I messaged Sam Crack. I said, "Man, I think the Elante is giving up the ghost." And you know what he said? He said, "Do a transmission fluid change on the side of the road." And I thought that would be epic, except <laughs> it's just one problem. Yeah. There's nothing here. We left all of our parts with Big Al. <laughs> we left everything. There's nothing. We have no tools. We didn't come prepared at all for this trip. No. No. At I all. I ended up several miles ahead of you. I was cruising, man. 70, the speed limit goes up 75 down. I was just moving, had to top down, and no mic. You were three miles ahead as I was trying to get through the intersection <laughs> right there. You traveled three miles. I traveled 30 feet. Yeah. So... Uh, so you want to tell them how, what you experienced? Well, as we were coming down the hill right there, my service engine soon light came on. At and that stoplight. As, as, as we were pulling up right here into the, the four-way stop, everything was fine. But when I did, tried to finish getting up the hill and across, RPMs went to about 4,500, and she just... Uh, slipping. Slipping. So, and then there was smoke coming out from under yeah. the hood, and I thought, well, let's just pull over it. Hunt Brothers Pizza <laughs> and get a slice. So, yeah. Okay. Well, I said for a while the pump is <coughs> the pump is giving out. The pump is giving out. Yeah, thanks, man. The uh, you too, man. The, the trans pump is going dead. Um, and that's because there is still water in the transmission. Okay. And there's so. not much we can do about it. We're, we're literally 250 miles from home. We're so close. We are right. This car has driven like 1,500, 1,450 miles so far. It's got 250 left to go. You know what I always say. If it can make it 1,450 miles, it can make it 250. Okay. That makes, that makes good logical yeah. sense to me. Okay. And when he, when he got a hold of me and said, Randy, I'm in trouble. You got you to send me that clip just so I can insert that little clip there. Yeah. I came in like a bat out of hell. Yeah. Boy, I was like, I'm going to go save Monkeypox Mike. I, I'm going to rescue him from, because he ain't you guys. This is yeah. one of the little towns. You know what he I mean? came in like a wrecking ball. Let's say that. <laughs> I came in like a wrecking ball. I never. That's all I know. Something. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Singing hurts. My throat is very <laughs> sore. <laughs> Anyway, uh, as he was saying, 
we got the problem with trans fluid coming back out the top again. Um, and it's making this noise from the trans. But I told him, I think if we let it cool off, uh, she's had a hard run. This has been a long stretch. Mm -hmm. This is the longest we've been on the road at one time. Like we've been moving. Should we get some gas while we're here too? No. Or wait to the next place. No, I, I would say let's stop at the next one okay. and, and let it, you know, give it just a few minutes to cool off there. Yeah. I'm willing to bet though, if you get in it now, we've been here, what, 30 minutes? About, yeah. Yeah, I had to go handle some business and that takes a little while. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Mike, why don't you fire it up? Let's see if it's still making rock grinding noises from the transmission. It sounds like fingers. pebbles. Careful not to scratch my paint there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, We've had so Mike, many people offer careful. to help, though. Uh, people are nice. Yeah. People really are. Isn't that crazy, like, how nice people are? I know. It's almost scary. In different parts of the country. You watch the news and you think everybody's mean, right? All right, let's see if she's making noise. i got to find neutral again. No noise. No service engine soon light either. Okay. So the check engine light had also come on. And I'm betting it's for either a slip or for low line. I'd be willing to bet it's low line pressure. Uh -huh. Put it in reverse and see if it feels uh, strong. You notice I said this is cool. Yeah. It didn't like the date. I put in 2023 and it kind of freaked out and then it just dropped it. Huh. So we are at the right date, the right time. Oh, is my thing going to fall off in the back? No. Okay. <laughs> Just don't hit the gas very hard. Okay. Did it feel solid? Oh, wait. I oh, you got do the e-brake on. I got to do my trick. You'd think he would learn this car by now. There. Here All right. Go. That seems normal. Just, just drive. That's the big one is drive. And a that good That sounded chunk. strong. Yeah, that's strong. Okay. All right. Man, All right. it may not be too late for the trans either may not we may be able to get it back come back in another video change the fluid and filter do another big flush on it yeah and this transmission might be okay may need to put a little lucas in it or something to help <laughs> sticky like things up yeah but it might be all right so we're not going to waste any more time this car is doing this car is doing phenomenal it's honestly so is this one they're uh -huh. both getting great fuel economy they're both making it so we're going to get back on the road we only got 250 miles. Let's see if we can get the rest of the way home. Well, looky what we got here. Looks like a Cadillac Elante. Will I fit? There she is. <laughs> All right. Woo, that was close. I didn't know if she's gonna fit or not. That stupid old Mercedes is in the way. Yeah, that Mercedes is in the way. You're right, Mike. You wanna take that home tonight? The Mercedes? Yeah. Heck yeah. All right. Can I drag her with your <laughs> your truck? <laughs> Let's you do know it. Something? Man, look at that. Are you closing it? <coughs> Excuse me. Well, it's hard to believe the old girl made it. If I'm being completely honest, I had, well, when we started, I think I said 5% is what I gave it. Yeah. And here it is. Have you been resetting the trip or is it still where I left it? I hit reset. I'm sorry. So, well, it's, I hit it. it's, I had to put in the time and the date and all that kind of stuff. It's, cause... so it got what, 23 miles a gallon? Yeah. You can shut yeah. it off. I want to notice something. Every single light works. Yeah. Every single one. Yeah, corner lights, everything. All of them. Everything works. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> As Joey said, whoa. Oh my. And look it's, how pretty she looks, looks after good. the rainstorm and everything. It looks so good. Whoa. Big Al did a good job cleaning this up. Yes. He did real good. And that interior doesn't look half bad either. What's the mileage on it now? 40,000 something. 40? It hit 40? Yeah, it hit 40. We had 37 something on it before. Yeah. <coughs>
So she's got, we crossed 40,000 miles in this car. You know 40, we're gonna do the- 40,111. <laughs> 40,111? Uh-huh. Wow. What a journey this little car took. And aside from a few hiccups, she did really well. I can't believe it. She did real like I, I still can't believe it's sitting here in the garage right now. I really can't. In one piece. Yeah. Yeah, it was a close one. <laughs> a little while back, it almost, it almost Oklahoma got left. was not very welcoming <laughs> to us. But look at her. Well, she's home. Soon she'll need to be on this lift. Yeah. I'll do the transmission service again. We'll do the filter and all of that good stuff. What? Cadillac stole the Mercedes door handle. What? Look at it. No. It's just like it. They added a little chrome piece. That's a, isn't that a 92 Mercedes? I don't, I don't, it's not even my car. I don't know. I don't know. They, it looks just like it. No, this one's way cooler. <laughs> Far cooler. <laughs> Look, if you guys think that maybe Cadillac stole the door handle. Let's see. Mercedes. Cadillac. We'll let the audience decide. Okay. What do you, what do you guys think? Or maybe... Maybe Mercedes stole it from Cadillac. Mm, we'll that, see. That's that's a higher <laughs> probability, I think. <laughs> Guys, we're not done. I don't want you to think the video's over. This is just one car. I still have the Corvette. I got to get him to his car, which is 60 plus miles away. Then I have to get to my house. Hell, another 35, 40 miles away. Oh my gosh. So... The Corvette's not done yet. This car made it. We'll come back with it soon. We'll get it on the lift. We'll look underneath it, check everything out. We'll do a proper trans service, filter, check the pan, and go from there. Mm-hmm. Well, we did it. I still got, I'm almost done. Yeah. But I still got to make it another 30, 40 miles home. Yes. And we kind of celebrated a little bit. You want to tell them what we just did on the highway? You kick somebody's... <laughs> A S S. <laughs> Poor you know. Dodge Charger. Yeah, he tried. <laughs> he tried a couple times. Yeah. He, he, yeah, he didn't fare so well. Yeah. Base Charger, just an RT, five five seven Hemi. It's it was not a it was not pretty. I completely slaughtered him the first time, and oh, how did that come off? Right here. That's Is fine. it still on? Yeah, it's on. I don't like that. There. Yeah, there we go. I completely slaughtered him the first time, mm -hmm. and I thought we were done because, like, at 130, he was way back there. Way back there. And then he caught up and paced us and did the beep, beep, beep. beep. Yeah, and I was like, come on, guy. Mm -hmm. Really? And then the 300,000 mile Sam Crack vet, the chicken <laughs> farmer vet, kicked yeah. his ass again. <laughs> Just one more time for good measure. And then we walked away and let, let him go past us. We moved over out of the lane and, and, and got where we wanted to be. And now we are here. With this horrible sound. Yeah, I know, guys. The sound is annoying. It's making my head want to... Yeah. It feels like my brain is swelling and it's about to explode. So we're going to make this quick. Besides, Monkey Wrench Mike's ready to get home. This is his car. He's here. We're at the airport. Yeah. It started. Imagine that. After <laughs> a week, a Mercedes started. Sitting a week and Diesel, it fired right even. up. Yeah. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. He's going to head home. I'm gonna head home and then I'll do the final outro on the video when I get back where I can show you guys my fuel economy. And and I'm gonna close the video out because it is, it's midnight. It's tomorrow now. It's been over a week. Wow. Over yeah. a week. So yeah, we're gonna let Monkey Ranch and Mike go, but I wanna say big, 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 huge thank you for holding the puke <laughs> bag when I was getting sick. That for was the thing. <laughs> <laughs> opening the doors, driving me around, bringing me rags and drinks, yeah. and uh, when I could not get out of the couch at Big Al's mm -mm. for, well, it's not this car, I'm looking at this car, the Cadillac, for going out and spending an entire day troubleshooting 
relays and elect i mean he was in it man he was in that yeah. car deep i woke up and i'm looking around like i kept forgetting where i was you know because i'm not <laughs> looking around i peep out the window and there's mike out there under the hood of that car reading and i go stumble outside and he's like i just don't understand i've been through this i tested this relay i did this and ultimately the relay you were looking for is the relay that fixed it mm -hmm. and it's the only reason the car is here today yeah <coughs> yeah we just didn't have any contact cleaners so yeah you sprayed the heck out of it Ta -da. So we had brakes yeah mike saved us yeah. on i think three different occasions <clears throat> on that car so uh i know it wasn't these trips are usually kind of fun this one was a little it was fun i had fun mm -hmm. i also was, had covid yeah that was not fun and that ruined everything for me so <laughs> yeah. so you know uh big al thank you for inviting us into your house man and 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 letting us stay there especially knowing that i'm toxic that was that was cool as hell man like that tells you what kind of person he is right there to open yeah. his home to somebody that's like throwing up and dying on the floor. Had a fever over 102 at one point. You know, and he's like, here, man, I got a bed and I got a couch. You know, what do you want? He made me breakfast, some pancakes. He did. He, he, did. Pancakes. he was always like, you need some lunch. Randy, you need to eat something. He gave me Tylenol. He was giving me NyQuil. Like, dude, seriously, yeah. Big Al hooked it up. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, Big Al. We yeah. both appreciate it. Saved hundreds in hotel costs. I can promise you that. Like <laughs> hundreds and hundreds of dollars in hotel costs. And I didn't go to the hospital, so you probably saved me a few thousand dollars there as well. So if you guys don't know who Big Al's Bike and Auto is, go check him out. His link will be below this video. Most of you know Monkey Wrench Mike, but I do have some new subscribers. If you don't know who he is, the whole trip wouldn't have been possible without him either. It took all three of us to make this happen. So go check out Monkey Wrench Mike. Yeah. Subscribe to his channel. Subscribe. I got one last thing for you. Uh oh. What'd you get? You remember this? This is your parking pass. Parking pass. For my car. Well, yeah, you I got to pay. You're gonna pay for my car. I got to pay. Yeah, I do. I got to pay. <laughs> He's gonna hit me up one more time. I told him this morning I'm about to be completely broke. He's like, here, it's one more thing. Let me, let me hit you up for what sixty dollars? I'll bet. I don't know how much. Twelve dollars a day times seven days. <clears throat> Ooh, cha ching. <laughs> Woo! You don't get the money. <laughs> the airport. He's acting like he's about to get a payday. It's the airport. You oh. know what? I'm not even going to film going home. I'm just going to end this video right here. I'm yeah. going to show you guys real quick how many miles the car got. I started the trip when we bought. Are you kidding? The door doesn't want to open. It locked. I, Where's your key? It automatically locks, and I hate that. Okay, so when I got the car from Sam Crack. I reset the trip and I left it so it will show it'll show how far we've driven come on get through the screens oh dude it just says you know why what does it say 6.1 you telling me these don't go to a thousand or two thousand? It oh, resets every thousand. No. That's okay. That's okay because oh. what that means is we've driven two thousand and six point one miles. Because we know it is not a thousand miles. Yeah. It's definitely been over two thousand. We went from Tampa all the way down from Miami. Yes. Up, down, all the way up. Yeah. Yeah. And fuel economy over two thousand six miles. 25.9 that's crazy miles a gallon and that includes having a little bit of fun with it too yeah 26 miles a gallon in a corvette with three almost 300,000 miles on it yeah 15 years old i i i, I couldn't be happier with this car <laughs> this is a lot of car for ten thousand dollars guys if i didn't tell you what i paid for it i think i did but for 10 grand this is a lot of car now as most of you know i do have an aston martin back at the house i'm going to do some driving i'm going to get see it that's what i mean right there it locks itself pisses me off as soon as i walk <laughs> away i can't get back in without finding the key fob but i want to do uh, i want to do a comparison video between the aston martin and the corvette they're they're both fairly similar cars and they're also not similar cars but i want to kind of talk about later how expensive an aston martin is versus how cheap a corvette is and whether the corvette's really just a bargain basement sports car 
or if it really has something to offer like the Aston Martin. I, I've already got an opinion, but I'm going to try to keep my head clear <laughs> until I really give the Aston Martin a chance. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. But anyway, we're going to get out of here, guys. I want to thank all of you for watching. This has been one hell. Uh, this is the, probably the most crazy adventure yet. It's the most drama we've ever oh, had. Oh, God. We needed some drama, but I, we got an overload. Yeah. How do you get more drama than COVID? Like, that's just... Yeah. Uh, Saltwater flood, underwater. Salt water flood. Rusted starter. Raining without a top or windows. <laughs> 30 degree weather without heat or windows. Yep. What a trooper Mike COVID is. COVID in a car without windows. <laughs> Randy did that. He froze his, you know what. I off. did. Yeah. You you really, you drove so, it home this time, Mike. You, you, are, the, you are the MVP of this trip. <laughs> he drove that Cadillac with no top and no windows. 2,000 no miles across the country yeah. through 30 degree weather, rainstorms. <laughs> are you still wet? <laughs> Parts of me probably yeah. are. <laughs> Man, MVP right there. <laughs> nobody else. There's nobody else that would have done this. Uh, and with that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quit because we all got to get out of here, guys. Thank you for watching. Like I said, be sure to please subscribe to Monkey Wrench Mike. His link is below. Big Al's Bike and Auto is below. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, do that below as well. Drop your comments in the comment section below. And until next time, stay safe out there. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one. You know who we forgot to thank? Who? Sam Crack, the Most chicken important. farmer. Yeah, the chicken Bye. farmer. Mo cow, yo, no now, mo cow, mo. <laughs> Sam mother f <laughs> crack. There it is. Yes, yes. Yeah, man. Thank you, That's Sam, fun. for uh, actually, it's a decent car. It is. It is. It's a, and ten grand was a really, I think, is a good price for it. And he had you sign the disclosure. So he, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. There's a lot. <laughs> CYA, buddy. He's yeah. a character. <laughs> yeah, thank you to Sam Crack, but all of you already know who he is, and you probably have seen this Corvette on his channel anyway. And with that, we're going to get out of here. Stay safe out there, everybody. Look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.